Hello and welcome, my name is Ivan Place, and today we're gonna learn something about game modding. MewSB posted instructions on how to change the color of blood that stays on the ground if a soldier gets shot or killed in Ravenfield. That is an indie first person shooter that has a free beta version and also you can buy it on Steam. And these are the instructions, but we're gonna go through them step by step, including how to get the software to edit this, which is free and open source. This is not the first time I make tutorials about game modding, so make sure to subscribe and check out those other videos as well. The links are all in the description of this video. So to be able to follow the instructions, we need to get DNSpy. DNSpy you can get for free from its website. You scroll down a little, go to latest release. And now sometimes they have a release, I don't know what's going on right now, but they have only the source code available, so instead click on this latest build icon, build passing. And then down here you have this uh, file name, you can click it and it starts downloading. Once it is downloaded, right click it and extract all, press extract and it's done. Go into the folder and scroll way down to dnspy.exe, this is quite a mess but hey, it's fine. If you have an x86 operating system, you have to use this one instead. Alright, I'll just launch dnspy and trust it. Here we have it. If you have stuff on the left, select all, control A and delete. And now we're just gonna start following these instructions. First in Steam, I'm gonna go to properties of Ravenfield in the library tab. I'm gonna go to local files and then browse local files. All right, we don't need Steam anymore. We're just gonna go into Ravenfield data and then managed and drag and drop the assembly minus C sharp into the NSPY, into the left part. All right, so now we're gonna open this up, open this up, open this dash up, and then here we are looking for decal manager. Let's see, decal manager, D, it's alphabetical, so just scroll down, decal manager. Okay, here we go to init meshes, which is a method known as function in other languages. Uh, of that class, all right, and we're looking for line 59. Let's just scroll down here. 59 mesh filter equals component. Should be component.mesh equals mesh. Okay, so I have trouble finding the right part. Let's just control F and look for component.mesh. Oh, there we go, it's line 60 for some reason. So we're gonna right click this and edit method. Now it's even a completely different line number. Oh well. After this we're gonna write the following. From here you can change the color by just by doing a simple material color change like so. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this with control C, control V. There we go. So let's replace this part with Unity Engine dot color dot and then we can pick from a number of colors let's go for green and now we hit compile that works out and save module in the file menu and we're just gonna press ok gonna launch Ravenfield and just as a quick test we're gonna go to island and shoot a teammate that's how we are by the way, very important, each time you make changes to the DLL, you have to restart the game. Oh yeah, the blood is green. The splatters on the grass and on the walls, they are green now. And uh, let's just fly over to the enemy, check out their colors. Green as well. Let me get closer. There we are. It's all green. Now what we can do is differentiate which team has which color. So let's just copy this part and replace... Oh yeah, we have to right click edit method and then replace this part. Okay, so we have team color 0 and 1. I don't know what other values we have, so we're just gonna refer back to Unity Engine color let's go for cyan, cyan and 
Now just to copy this and overwrite the other team's color. Let's see. And white, why not? Compile. Once again, save module. And let's go ahead and test it yet again. So, teammates are white-blooded. And if we go and visit our red friends... Hello, buddy. Yep, look at that nice blood. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you get started with basic modding using DNSpy and a Unity Engine video game. Many thanks to NewSB, without you it would not have been possible. This is a nice brief tutorial. I hope my short summary of what steps you have to do in the NSPY helps. Again, make sure to subscribe, check out my other tutorials. I have uh, actually a quite long one where I use the NSPY for many other things. You can definitely learn from that how to mod Ravenfield and other video games. So I wish to you the best of fun when modding some games. Let me know what kind of creations you come up with and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!